guys, it's Shelby. And today I wanted to make a video where I talk about the most popular zero waste swaps that you see on Instagram. The perfect aesthetic version of zero waste that makes you think you have to fit a certain mold to live a more eco-friendly lifestyle. The thing is, is that I completely understand that zero waste can seem completely unattainable. It can seem expensive. It can seem like you need to go buy every perfect zero waste swap that you see that makes the perfect aesthetic on Instagram. But one of my big goals is to make living in more eco-friendly lifestyle seem more attainable and achievable. That's why I've made videos talking about zero waste swaps you shouldn't buy, talking about the DIYs I do and don't like. I made a whole video of free zero waste swaps. I've even got a video talking about all of my favorite zero waste swaps that I think are worth making. But today I wanna make a video that helps everyone. Whether you're ready, you're at that point in your zero waste journey where you're ready to invest in a high quality product that you're gonna keep forever, or if you're in the beginning of your journey and you don't have money to spend to become more zero waste. Whatever your situation is, I hope today's video helps you find a version that works for you so that you don't just have to aspire to the Instagram aesthetic. I'm gonna give you some other options that work for me and ones that I love. So let's just go ahead and jump into it. If you follow the hashtag zero waste on Instagram, Instagram, chances are the water bottle you've seen the most of is a clean canteen that has no plastic. Ironically enough, I do have this water bottle and I do think that it is a great one. But in a lot of situations, it doesn't matter what type of water bottle you have. You just need some damn water. You don't need any sort of fancy water bottle. You can just use what you have because when you're hot and you're thirsty, it doesn't matter. You just want something that you can get water in. It's not single use plastic. Just use whatever you have laying around your house. Most people already have a water bottle sitting around at their house. So don't come to this lifestyle and think that you have to go and buy a better water bottle. You have to go and buy a clean canteen or a hydro flask because that's what you see most on social media. You can use whatever you have in your junk room, in your garage, but more than anything, I don't want you thinking that you have to come to this lifestyle and in order to give up single use plastic bottles, buy a 40 or $50 water bottle. It's not a necessity. It is a nice to have, I will say, but if you don't have the money or if you don't want to spend the money, you don't have to do that. When I think perfect Instagram zero waste aesthetic, the first thing that comes to mind is label maker. And in no way is a little black sticker with little white text zero waste. It's a plastic sticker. It is inherently not zero waste. But for some reason, they make their way all around the zero waste community. And specifically with deodorant, they make it seem like you just mix these three little ingredients together, a little bit of coconut oil, a little bit of baking soda, few drops of essential oils, and you're good to go. But that has absolutely not been the case for me. Those DIY deodorant recipes have never worked for me. I don't know if they really work for anybody else. I'm honestly skeptical that they're working for any of y'all out there that are saying they do. If it does, that's awesome. But personally for me, there's literally only one natural deodorant I've ever tried that actually worked, and that is native deodorant. I've been using them for years, and if you've heard me talk about them before but haven't picked it up before because it wasn't vegan, I completely understand. Native used to be formulated with beeswax, but now, they're not. They are a completely vegan and cruelty-free brand. Now, the reason they didn't get the Instagrammable stamp, the IG version of this video, is because it's obviously packaged in plastic. But what I've been doing since I've been using Native Deodorant is I ship these packages once I'm done with them off to a woman who makes homemade sunscreen in Austin. So she puts the sunscreen here, rolls it up, and she reuses it like that. Obviously, you can reuse them in your own home as well, or you can recycle them. This is a completely plastic component, but it's all one type of recyclable plastic, meaning you can literally put this in your curbside recycling. But the most important thing to me is that a deodorant actually works. I don't want anybody coming to Zero Waste and thinking that if a DIY deodorant just isn't working for them, they just have to live with it and they have to stink. I really believe that buying a deodorant that is cruelty-free, vegan, but most importantly formulated without aluminum is the most important thing. So for anybody who tries a DIY zero waste deodorant, it doesn't work, and then they go back to using aluminum deodorants, deodorants with aluminums and parabens and all that stuff in them, I don't recommend it. I highly recommend native deodorant because like I said, I've been using it for years and it's the only one that's worked for me. I just recently got a new three pack of my three favorite scents. My all time favorite being the charcoal one. It's not a super feminine scent. It's not a super masculine scent. It's just a nice, mild, any old person who doesn't want to stink and wants to smell decent. 
scent. But regardless, I've been using Native for years. I've been very open about the fact that I use a deodorant and plastic. It may not be Instagrammable, but it's the one that works really, really well for me. So since I partnered up with Native on this video, if you want to try them for yourselves, you can get your three pack for 20% off today with the code SHELBY20, or you can click the link in my description. But this is my not so Instagrammable for the zero waste world at least version of deodorant. And you definitely don't have to have the most aesthetic, perfect, zero waste, Instagrammable cup to get your coffee to go in a reusable. Use whatever you got. Don't get me wrong, keep cups are extremely cute and I understand why they have made their way into the market. They also are kind of repairable piece by piece. So these cups are replaceable, the cork liner is replaceable, they have other versions of every lid, every closer, every band. It's a great company, but there are so many other ways to go about getting a coffee in a reusable cup. You can literally just take a jar, put a towel around it and use some rubber bands so that the glass doesn't make your hand all hot, which is basically the DIY version of a keep cup. I'm also willing to bet that nearly everybody has a coffee cup at their house already, some sort of travel to go mug, and if you don't, like I said, just reuse a jar. Of course, all of this is really to keep in mind only if you're not willing to invest in something that you'll keep for the rest of your life, which is kind of the reason I have a lot of these Instagram versions of these zero waste swaps, because I bought them at the beginning of my journey knowing that I would keep them forever. And I think that's perfectly fine to invest in something if your intention is to actively use it every week, every other other week, almost every day for the next two, three, four decades. I think that's perfectly fine. But the point of this video is to let everybody know that you don't have to buy these versions just to get started in a zero waste lifestyle because I know what it's like to come to something new that you just learned about that you want to do all the good that you can and then to feel like you have to have this upfront investment of so much money that you're just not ready for. So that's my intention with this video. You don't have to buy this. There is definitely a version out there where you can get started helping the planet without spending a lot of money. Okay. I mean, did it even happen if I didn't get the perfect Instagram picture of my zero waste meal? These containers are popular and they are useful. I'm not going to tell you that you should never buy one. I'm just here to say that if you already have containers, you can just use what you have. And they're expensive. So if you come to this lifestyle and you see this in a beautiful flat lay photo with a clean canteen next to it, a utensil set next to it, the cute little organic cotton tote bags next to it, that can run you over $100 just to buy those items. So don't think that to be zero waste, you have to have one of these. You definitely don't. Just use whatever Tupperware, plastic containers, glass containers, whatever containers you currently store your food in, you can take those to restaurants for your to-go items. You definitely don't have to have one of these. No straw, please. <laughs> Save the turtles. This next swap can get kind of controversial because there are people out there who still need plastic straws, okay? People with certain disabilities need them, they depend on them as a matter of fact. I'm not shaming anybody who uses a plastic straw or who needs a straw to drink, okay? This is not for those people. But the reusable straw seems to be a serious gateway for people to get into a more eco-friendly lifestyle. But if you really wanna know a little secret, you don't have to have a straw to live zero waste at all. Now, I'm never one to shame someone for using a reusable straw because I personally do enjoy using them and I do use them. But we should give a thought to the fact that you don't have to have a straw to drink a drink. You can also use your mouth. I get comments like this all the time. I think because some people switch from not using a straw at all to using a reusable straw just because it's a cute look. And that I'm not a fan of. So I'm here to say that you don't have to have a reusable straw if you don't already use one or depend on one as it is. And there are a lot of different reasons why someone would want to use a straw, okay? One being that you have sensitive teeth. That's all I'm saying. Alrighty guys, well that's it for me today. I'm just out here trying to make the zero waste lifestyle more accessible. And even though you've probably seen all of these swaps in other videos that I've made, I haven't made a video and I haven't ever seen another video where someone talks about the very Instagrammable version of a zero waste swap or the typical version of a zero waste swap and the alternatives to that in the same video. So that's what I wanted to make today. I hope you liked this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I'll have links to all the Instagram versions of these things below. 
below. I'm also going to have links to DIYs or blog posts on the alternatives. All the information will be in the description box. So go check it out if you haven't already. Again, thanks to Native for sponsoring this video. They are the best deodorant I've ever used. And if you're looking for one that actually works, if you haven't had luck with the DIY Instagram of versions, make sure you check them out because they also gave us a discount code. Let me know what zero waste swaps you use every day that are not so Instagram worthy, but definitely work really, really well for you. And I'll see you guys later this week. Remember until next time, you cannot do all the good that the world needs, but the world needs all the good that you can do. Bye guys.